Hey guys, what's up? We're at the Freedom Festival in Provo today. Waiting at the parade route for the Grand Parade to start. That's something a little bit different. I've gotten back into this, um, thanks to my daughters. You know, I, I blame them for everything, but it really is the truth. Uh, they started inquiring about this game. and I had an account back in the day that had everything unlocked, plus all of the Celestials and whatever, but I don't have that anymore. I, I appealed to the game designers to try to find it because they moved from Facebook accounts to over to Google accounts, but unfortunately they weren't able to find my account, so I'm starting over. And that gives me an opportunity to show you kind of what it looks like from the ground up if, when you're first starting out. So the My Singing Monsters game is all about collecting monsters, and when you collect the monsters, they sing songs. Uh, I don't have that one turned off, but let me turn it on here. Each monster has a different little piece. If you ever watch the um, Potter Puppet Pals, where they do the singing, um, the ticking noise, then you'll get, have the same idea where each person has just one little thing that they do, but when they put them all together, it makes a big piece of music. Uh, to get the monsters, you purchase them in your breeding facility. I'm going to go ahead and speed this one up for a diamond, so you can see, I just touch the shrub, and the shrub does beatboxing. combination of rock and plant. So I'm going to stick them right there between the rock and the plant. Just kind of keep track of what I've bred and what I have. And I'll move them all later to somewhere that I like aesthetically. And then the next thing I did was feed it food. Feed it food raises its level. And the more you raise its level, the more money per minute you get on your rate and how much max money he can hold before you have to collect it. Now, the different monsters have different elements. Like Potbelly here, he's only a plant. And Noggin here is only rock type. You have Toe Jammer, he's water, and then Mammoth is cold. And you start combining them, so cold and rock gives the Grumper and cold and water, or rock and water gives the clog. Plant and cold gives fur cone, etc. And you combine them over here in this breeding facility. Ah, shoot. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Oh well. Do you combine two? So I'm going to take this T Rox here, and he has rock, water, and cold. Now I'm going to mix them with plant and breed. I only got a two hour breeding, so that made a, another uh, pot belly. And that's why I've got a pot belly here. That's disappointing because when you combine all four, you get ink rat. And you can move them around. If you don't like the way they're and oriented, you can flip them. And then the next thing to look at is these food facilities that allow you to produce food to feed them. And every day you can do a spin in the castle to get free food. And there's different islands, and each island has a different song. And they have much of the same creatures, but they no, no two islands have all of the same creatures, uh, monsters. So you see, this one has these flying guys, but it doesn't have the rock guy. So the four elements here are flying, plant, cold, and rock. And when you combine all four of those, you get like this crazy DJ guy. And I don't have one of those right now. 
Now if I wanted, I could buy a new egg for this, for this one. I can spend gems if I want on one of those. Or I can just buy the regular ones. Uh, if you get these special tokens, you can get these guys, and they'll actually sing. If you get these keys, you can unlock the little beats. And they just make one note, literally, like, one note. Or I can buy the normal ones. You can only purchase for coins, with coins the basic currency, uh, the four basic elements. And everything else has to be bread or bought with, with gems, the premium currency. Now, there's uh, obstacles on the ground. And you can clear the obstacles by paying money. Now this is the air element. And you can see it's four elements of cold, flying, rock, and water. And when you combine all of those, you can get the four element monster that's uh, the guitar guy riff. Rebo, Rebo is what they call an elemental monster, I believe. And they're harder to breed. You have to breed the exact right combination of two monsters. And you just have to know which two to breed. Uh, and you can usually search the internet for that. Looks like we've got some of the parade coming. You guys gotta watch the parade route for the wall though. There's a two team coming, but the parade hasn't officially started yet. And it won't start for another hour and a half. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, and there's another concept of beds. And the castle has a certain amount of beds in it, and so you have to keep upgrading it to have space to put some new creatures. As soon as you put them down, they immediately join the song. They have to be at least level 5 to breed. So now I got a Cybot breeding, and he is Flying Rock. So I've got Flying Rock, Cybot already there. I got Flying Cold, and that makes Pango. Water Rock makes Flog. So I need, and then I got this guy. And he's. Flying water. So now let's do a cold rock and get a drum player. So rock and cold. I have to be at least level four to breathe. Anyway, so that's the basic rundown of the basics of this game. The parade doesn't start for another hour and a half. Because the parade doesn't start for another hour and a half. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, here's a cold rock, he's a shrub. I don't have enough beds. So I'll just sell them. I need the money right now. A weedling. There are some people going down the parade. I got a noggin. Which sucks because they only need five seconds. And now he'll be stuck there until for 12 hours. And that's just how that goes. Um, eventually, you can get a second breeding facility, uh, a second hatchery, and a second breeding facility. So that's upgrades that come later in the game. Uh, brief mention of the 
few of the later islands, you'll get my Bublin Island. And this is an advanced island. And what you do here is you purchase a statue and put it down. And then to activate the statue into a monster who will actually sing, you have to put like five monsters into him. So let's go to market. Let's find the basic monster statue. How about Zin? And we'll put him down here. Okay, so to activate Zin, we have to put in one octopus, one T Rox, one Ma, one Drumpler, one Pango, and one Congo. So you breed them on your other islands, but instead of hatching them, you teleport them into this guy instead. And then he'll start singing. And then these guys start making money. And the same goes with Celestial Island. It's, it's basically the same thing. But it has different monsters and different things. Tribal Island is only when you're joined with a tribe. And then it'll be populated by all the monsters your tribe contribute to it. So I offered a Kongol, which is the best I can Why offer right now. Why is nobody watching for Waldo? You watch for Waldo. And um, so that's how that populates. And then the Colosseum is the next one. The Colosseum allows you to fight the monsters, basically. It's like a sing-off in a competition. And so a battle, go on the quests. I mean, the, the different quests will give you different rewards. So it's useful to complete these quests and gain the rewards to uh, progress quicker. Uh, Composer Island is the next crazy one. And it allows you to create basically any monster song you want. You can pick any monster and put it down here. And then you can click on the monster and compose his own melody here, so I can tell him to sing. And, and then... And then he'll sing. And you can put all a bunch of monsters down here and compose all these crazy tunes, and people do some really incredible stuff with it. Uh, Gold Island, when you get a monster to level 20, you can teleport, or a 15, it's a 15 or 20, you can teleport into the Gold Island, and it, it's really just a crazy island where any monster in the entire game, you can teleport here, and it creates a really complicated, intense medley, melody. Alright, well, I'm going to call that a, a video here. I don't know what this one is, I've never seen it before. But uh, the other one is um, the Mirror Worlds, and we haven't unlocked that yet, so we'll just save the Mirror Worlds for later. Make sure you always collect your free stuff. Have a great day, guys. Happy Fourth of July.